Hi lovelies, it's me Sherry with Live Love Latte and thanks for joining me for this emergency preparedness video. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this first aid kit for my family. I did this video about two years ago so I'm going to put the link below in the description box and this idea is from a abowlfulloflemons.net. Again the idea is to grab and go so this tackle box from Walmart was a great idea from her. This can either be used for sheltering in which means to stay home or to drive away. We have first aid kits in our bug out bag which are backpacks filled with stuff for the times when you need to walk away because you can't stay home during the disaster. Those are the times you're required to evacuate your home and they've set up shelters in the area. I've labeled every section of this tackle box for my first aid kit. You can see here it's scissors, tweezers, floss, and splints. And on this side, it's exactly the same as the other one. You just open it like this. There are non-latex gloves and baby powder. Of course, if you have a larger bottle of whatever, you can always transfer them into trial size or small travel bottles like this. Just make sure to label them also. And then the top part is for wound management. And then it opens like this, just like a tackle box or a toolbox, and the door opens up. So there are basic things here for wound management, like bandages, wound wash, iodine, hydrogen peroxide. I did put masks in smaller Ziploc bags. There's wet wipes, tissue, alcohol prep. There's also a pen here and hand sanitizer. And that's a BP cuff. Someone told me to take that out and put some other stuff in there. So I'll have to look back at that comment and figure it out. If you want more detailed information on this first aid kit, please check out the link in the description box because I've answered a lot of questions there and I've put links and I do that more in detail. And then the front looks like this. This door opens like that. And this left side opens up the same way. And then the one in the middle opens down. And this can actually slide in. On the left side, I have small cream cheese holders that hold bandages and neosporin and then there's a small insect repellent there this holds the bandages and I've labeled it also in front assorted sizes waterproof and butterfly and when you open it up it looks like that you can also get them at the container store this one holds the neosporin and a rolled bandage and on the right side I have cotton and swabs this one was actually from the Dollar Tree so there's cotton swabs balls pads and then some more cotton swabs and then the other cream cheese holder has medical tape in it and then I've also fit gauze pads and larger bandages tighten them with a rubber band and then they just go in there vertically I try to have the labels facing the same way so that it's just easier to read not only do I label the containers inside but I also label the door in the middle are containers that slide in and out and they are for different types of medicines that we actually can intake or apply topically and the categories are allergy and bites cough and cold fever and pain are in one container and then the last one is bowels and belly so they come out just like this then you just flip this open just like any container and it looks like this inside I've labeled every container including the wound management with the labels down at the bottom so when you're looking above it you can see the labels I do have to replenish the anti-itch and the a and ointment because my kids have taken those we do use this throughout the year it's kind of like our medicine cabinet also my kids are old enough that we are able to do that cough and cold fever and pain are in the same container and I like this because even when the container is closed you can see what's inside this one has Tylenol Aleve aspirin a pill cutter uh, cough drops and this has a thermometer and a cup inside I do have to replenish this with the plastic for the thermometer and this last container is for bowels and belly I have here stuff for diarrhea gas stool softener laxative Tums and I also have glucose tablets in here every container has both adult medicine and junior medicine and for the medicine that doesn't have directions on the bottle they are like in these little packets. I did cut out the directions from the box and left them where the medicine goes so that I have the directions for each and every medicine in these containers. I hope you enjoyed this video of my family's emergency preparedness first aid kit. Please leave a comment below and let me know which part of this first aid kit you think is going to help your family and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Please subscribe to my channel, Live Love Latte, and join me on my daily adventures as a mompreneur.